Welcome back to day three of my Minecraft One Chunk Build Challenge. I'm taking the month of December to challenge myself daily in creating builds using only a one chunk in a Minecraft world. Day one, we built a starter house filled with details, and day two, we went full magical gazebo. And today, we are going for an igloo. And I know, that does not sound very build challenge worthy. It's an igloo, you know, throw a few snow no blocks down, everything will be fine. But no, plan number one. I actually want to do a little bit of terraforming here to raise the igloo up. First, let's just throw down our build pallet right here. Okay, build pallet out. I'm sure we'll bring in a little bit of color, but for the most part, this is gonna be very white and snowy. Now to get into the building. And for that, we're going to jump into a time-lapse and time-lapse Cali will tell you what is happening. While I haven't built my own little cliff sides and terraforming projects very often, I will tell you one tip that I have learned from the little bit that I have done. When you are making cliffs, use blocks to make an overhang. So here we are using snow blocks to create that kind of an overhang over top of the cliff. And then we push the cliff side back in. So that is my one tip for you if you are trying this out at home. But we started off the structure all in stone just to kind of get that shape and work it together. And then we started to add in those bits of detail. So you have like the mossy cobble, the cobblestone, and of course we have the pond down in the center of this area, which I think turned out super cute. I think it'll be great to go fishing in for those who decide to live inside of this little igloo. I think that's the perfect place for that. And to top it all off, I added in a few spruce leaves just to add a little bit more color. That is looking pretty nice. One of the things I wouldn't mind doing is adding in a little bit of snow around the campfire to signify that it's cold. It's hard to do when you're in a plains biome, but yeah, I think we need a little bit of snow around here just to add in a little bit more of that cold feel. But well, we got our nice little path all the way up to our igloo on the top. And yes, there's nothing inside. We will fix that in a second. But we got some lanterns on the side. We got a little bit of a garden going on back here that you can, you know, eat from. It is only carrots, but it works. And of course, we got some windows that we can look out over the side. So what are we gonna do for the interior? It is super small and even blocks, but we're gonna make this work. So we definitely need a bed or two. And I'm thinking if we put the bed along the back here, I do really like my bookshelves. So I kind of wouldn't mind kind of encasing them here with bookshelves. I do also want some sort of light, but I'm not entirely sure I wanna put it up here. I almost wanna see if we can't utilize this space somehow. If we have ourselves a furnace and maybe a little bit of a shelf for something, then on this side, I feel like putting in a smoker since you do have the fishing pond down there. I think a smoker could work out really nicely. And we always need a crafting table. So maybe we add in a crafting table on the floor here between them. We could add in a lantern right there for light. That's looking pretty nice, okay. And all we have left is this tiny little space over here and we need some storage. It's a tight little space, but guys, this is gonna work. I am thinking carpet. I wanna go red, but we have the red bed and I don't know if that's too much. Actually, it's not too much, that's okay. So of course you need carpet because you wanna keep your feet warm in here. If we did a painting, we could do paintings like that but it does bring a little bit more life in here. Maybe let's try a torch flower. Sure, why not? And we have ourselves a cute little igloo. We got the details in the leaves. The one thing I'm thinking, what if we add in a little bit of low lichen around just for a little added detail? Probably not on the snow. There we go. That's a little bit better adding in the details of the glow lichen. I like it. It's cute. It's simple. Look what we can fit into one chunk. There we have it. Three days and three lovely one chunk Minecraft builds. 
I'm super happy with how this build turned out. I think the terraforming looks amazing and it is just a simple, nice one chunk build for your winter wonderland. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content like this. And I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.